Here at home now, this morning classes are set to resume at UC San Diego. This following an intense day of protests on campus. The time right now is 631. Thanks for joining us here on CBS 8. I'm Nadia Irantor. And I'm Eric Connor. We watched this all unfold live on this newscast yesterday morning. A pro-Palestinian encampment was cleared. Dozens of demonstrators were arrested. And we have team coverage for you here this morning. CBS 8's Chris Groh has more on what happens now to the protesters who have been released from jail. But we do want to start with CBS 8's Regina Yorita live at UC San Diego, where normal operations classes are resuming as we speak. Good morning, Regina. Yeah, good morning, Eric and Netta. And we actually just moved to this location where the encampment was located before. I'm going to step out of the picture, show you guys. There is no sign of any encampment. It was cleared out yesterday by law enforcement. Right now, uh, university, uh, the staff, campus staff have actually put a fence over here towards this direction so no one can actually go over that lawn area. They've actually said uh, several signs right here. They've put several signs saying landscape area under renovation. Uh, you can actually see crews right now cleaning up that area and continuing to put more fencing around this section. So we haven't seen any protesters at the moment this morning. We do know that classes will continue this morning. We've only seen one police car drive by, kind of monitor the situation. Uh, but yesterday, completely different picture. We did see a large police presence and a group of pro protesters. Take a listen. And these were just several Palestinian supporters protesting around campus. At that point, law enforcement had cleared up the encampment and had even arrested 64 people. 40 of them were students. This upset Palestinian supporters who only wanted to peacefully protest. They were also concerned that police, CHP officers, and even sheriff's deputies all showed up to remove the encampment while wearing riot gear. During this dismantling of the encampment. Police confiscated wooden stakes, propane tanks, and a sword. So Jewish students tell us it sent the wrong message. Take a listen. We want to be safe as Jewish and Israeli students on campus to walk freely without the fear of seeing signs plastered all over. And right now we haven't seen any protesters uh, nearby. We've only seen crews here starting to clean up the area, block off the area, so no, no one can actually go over the fencing and to let people know that at the moment it is blocked off for students and staff. But that is the latest. I do know that uh, right now protesters who were arrested yesterday have been released from jail. And to talk a little bit more and give us more details about what's next for these students, we have Chris Grow on campus as well. Well, Chris, what's the details? Yeah, good morning, Regina. And of course, you had the encampment clear out the subsequent protest after that, in which we saw a number of those demonstrators chanting, asking for the release of those who were arrested from that encampment. And then they were eventually after being taken down to the jail for processing. Take a look. And this was a large group that made its way down to downtown jail to watch as those that were taken into custody be released. Again, 64 arrests were made, 40 of them students and or affiliated with the campus, and 24 of them marked as unaffiliated or unidentified at this time. Now, in a statement, the administration goes on to say that arrests were made after multiple times they were alerted by law enforcement, that being the demonstrators at the encampment, to leave, to disperse. We saw those confrontations unfold in real time. UC San Diego went on to add, quote, they encourage and allow peaceful protests, but this encampment violated campus policy and the law and grew to pose an unacceptable risk to the safety of the campus community. Now, we attempted to speak with some of those protesters after they were released. Uh, many of them chose not to speak with us. In fact, there were times in which they were trying to even block our cameras. Uh, we wanted to learn what it is potentially that they may have been charged with. We know in other protests across the country and in other places, criminal mischief and trespassing were some of those charges. We spoke with an attorney about why it is, again, that they will likely, again, face uh, again, uh, these uh, similar charges and or just charges to begin with. Take a listen. When it crosses the line, you start breaking laws and there's damage to property and you're not obeying lawful commands, then the university has a duty towards other students, the students that pay tuition, that want to go to class. 
And we also understand that those who are considered to be students will be facing discipline from the school as well. Eric and Netta.